happened to me, Blake Washington, who a mom a young, successful black male uh, that has a plan for my future, which I will succeed, which I was told all my life that I wouldn't amount to that I wouldn't succeed. I wouldn't finish high school now. I got a high school diploma going to college. What this program has did for me is taught me how to love because I love no growing up I love nobody but myself. It's taught me how to trust, that I trust no one but myself. And it, and it's taught it, it's also taught me that uh, that I can't do everything by myself. I don't need somebody to lean on no matter what, because I was the type of person when I grew up that if I couldn't do it myself, I wouldn't do it at all, I was just gonna give up. When I went through this torch program, it's taught me that I'm going to have to lean on somebody, you know what I'm saying, at some point in time. And it's taught me that uh, if, uh, if I don't love myself, no one else will. And it's also taught me that uh, uh, it's going to come a point in time where I'm going to step on my own two feet and be my own man and stop depending on everybody to do everything for me. And when I torch program, I, I wouldn't know how to do that because uh, I just depend on everybody to do things for me. And, and, they didn't want to do it for me, then I don't know you, you ain't cool with me. It's just, I just want it, I want everything handed to me. And uh, when I went through this torch program, uh, it's taught me a lot. It's taught me that, uh, that uh, I, you know, so I can only succeed if I want to. And I remember uh, when I was uh, in there, I met up with this man named Frank Anderson. And he taught, he uh, gave me this uh, speech. Well, it was uh, a scripture at the Bible. And I always remembered it, and uh, I shared it with uh, with Kevin and Debbie. And uh, the scripture go, uh, uh, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Okay. And without unity, you know, what I'm saying we wouldn't be existing. We all need each other. It's no one that needs. It's no one that can survive on their own, just doing everything by themselves. They gonna need someone else. And it took me. It took me a long time to realize that. And it just took me a long time to realize what I want for my future. What I want for my future is I want, well, it ain't what I want, it's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be successful. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to be happy. And I'm going to do everything it takes to let these young people like me, you know what I'm saying, realize what's out there and what they can get themselves into. And hopefully, you know, to lead them to the straight path. You know, because I went there on, but I want to lead them down the straight path that I went through. Because uh, after I got out, I've been doing good. Uh, I had a couple of talks with my cousins because they hey trying to do what I used to do and, and I just hope that uh that I can get out there and I can talk to some young people and encourage them, you know, to follow the right path. And um uh, I was hoping that uh maybe that I could become a mentor and I wanted to do some traveling myself and go places and talk to young people about my experience and share my testimony with them. emotionally and mentally just challenging within yourself and uh, you see all these people that don't even know you that come in I mean you probably know the person you've seen down the aisle in the store that you've already passed the business faster than you would have known us and they would come in and they sit around and they talk and they bring the love and the caring and everything that you could wouldn't think that you'd have because you are locked up and everything else and uh, the new games that just make you feel like alive again and make you feel like um, you there is some life out there for you but it's not over and everything else and I was an atheist before I even went, and now I do believe in God. There has to be God for lots of reasons. So, so I know I get myself in the trouble. <laughs> and then um, I hope that out of all this, this whole five days I've been here, that torch is going to be you know, more done to it and more people to learn more about it and to um, make it better, to extend it, to 
because you know the youth is you know that's our future or your son's future your grandkids' future is all these kids that are right now want that you know so it's a wonderful thing and I hope all y'all can come in for us and I hope all y'all can go to a torch or help the system or start one because it's changed my life a lot. I wouldn't be able to sit in front of you today. I just want to say this, that, uh, uh, that there has been uh, some people that have poured their life out into these two young people, and that's Debbie <coughs> Vanderbilt and, uh, and Bill. Uh, and I don't just mean have given them a word here or there, but have poured their life out to them. And I don't know how many of you all were in the service the other night um, that you heard Jim Capps when he, uh, he stood up and, and represented uh, Timothy and talked about mentoring and talked about how Paul had spoken into his life and made a life change in him. And, and, and Debbie, that's what you have done. Um, and Bill, my old Bill is in. And that's what we are called to do. It's, it is not that we have to have degrees in counseling and all of those things, but that we speak yes. into the lives of people and we make deposits into them in this ministry. And and that we that we are called a ministry that continues to come back. And if we are going to really do anything, as Larry said, we can't do it one third. We got to do the whole thing. And and that's what we are called to do. And what we need to do is be unified as 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 a body as cows towards cows inside, cows outside. But we also need to make sure that when God puts somebody in our way for us to speak into their lives that we do what you do.